Right, we thought you'd do, do a bit of a video tour on our uh, Dutch van, so the, the European Transport HQ Europe van, because a load of people dropped us a few messages about it just asking us, because it's fairly unusual spec or different to what we'd see here in the UK. So I thought you'd, I'd do a bit of a video walk around of it and show you some stuff that we've done to it while it's been here and some stuff that's new on this that's going to be coming out uh, across the UK and Europe like the flush line windows but we'll come to that in a minute so what you see here is the long wheelbase T6 slightly unusual spec because it's barn door twin slider was a panel van now a combi DSG which I've never seen any of here in the UK but apparently more common over there in Europe so some nice touches to that I'll that show you as we go around the branding on this is changing so watch uh, our page or the Transport HQ Europe Instagram for for what's going on here monkey wraps are doing a really sexy whole new wrap on this but we'll show you what we've got for now and then uh yeah keep you up to date as and when it changes a little bit more so while it's been here what have we done we've put windows in the back we've put the our new flush sliders in the side there it's got the gloss black navis wheels on it came over with anthracite ones on but marco wanted to go for gloss black just to match the rest of the details it's got our t6 v3 left hand drive version of our headlights obviously they're available over there gloss black lower lip the badgeless front grille which i really like i think it really suits the t6 see as you can see from this it's obviously low so this is on air suspension so this is the bonhoff air suspension it's a lot more popular we don't really see it over here i've never seen anybody running bonhoff air suspension in the uk but it's really popular over in europe uh, good friends with the guys over at transport hq europe so yeah that's what that's sitting on there which is like a coney combination of damper with an airbag rides nice really comfortable driven this a bit not loads but um yeah seems really well suited a few little bits as we're getting closer so obviously it's got the transport hq sequential side repeaters so this is the textured t6.1 badgeless grille to match the texture on the lower trims and then it's got the gloss black lower lip on there as well so going inside so since it's been here we've had it all retrimmed with gtd trim so we, you probably would have seen this on our flatbed and i tend to do this quite a lot of my own vehicles I like to keep the oem look so i keep the oem fabric on the outside and then just change the center panel so it just feels very original and then this is the gtd trim just thought it matched best with the color combination that was go that's going to be going on this van strange for me to see doing one on that side but as i mentioned before dsg long wheel based panel van pretty rare thing over here so going into the back here from what feels like should be the driver's side but obviously it's the passenger side so bench triple seat in the back here again we've had this all trimmed to match so oem style black outer side to the seats and then retrimming the center sections with a gtd trim with this nice depth uh, in the foam just to give it a bit more not necessarily just comfort but just a bit more uh, nicer kind of look to it so it's just not all flat there and then obviously on the inside here you'll see camper glass flush sliding windows We'll do a whole episode on these soon just to give you a bit more details on them but people ask us about these all the time and the answer's just always been we're just not ready to release them until i'm 100 percent sure they're right so we've made some changes to these ones which looks wise and, and build wise are really great but we've done a load of rain tests here as you can see it's raining now but i want the, the european guys to run them a little bit longer and do some more water tests till i'm comfortable for us to release them over at camper glass these will be available from camperglass.co.uk and obviously transport hq europe will be selling these to sell everywhere but really nice really nicely finished talk about them another time so the other thing with this being a demo vehicle for transport hq europe obviously we've added the van shades so again new thing over there but transport hq europe is now a distributor of the van shades for the european market so if you want you're looking at putting van shades in your vehicle those guys will be holding stock there and they'll be able to ship them to you no matter where you are in europe and just coming around the back we fitted the barn door windows camper glass barn door windows in this and that again fan shades in the back there as well you may have seen our last video 40 winks bed so again another product that's available from the uk and now from transport to hq europe so the 40 winks combi bed in the same carpet that we supply that's available on our website it's exactly the same carpet that we're supplying to 40 winks to put in all their beds so available the same match in the uk and in europe but yeah check check this whole 40 week set out up on the previous video before this one just showing you about it and how it all works but uh this is a, a demo one going in here for Marco and the guys over there to use, but also so we can show customers over there how a good bit of kit this is. So while this van was here, we just we carpet lined it all, did the combi conversion. The one thing that's a nice new addition that we're offering on the website now is that this OEM style vinyl flooring. So this being originally a panel van, this had a standard wooden floor, but we've put this this finish here, which is what you'll notice is the same. If you've got a genuine combi, you have this uh, this this pattern. So this isn't that same foam that comes in a genuine combi. This is is a vinyl flooring that goes over the top of the plywood but it matches the same as the combi so if I go around here and show you 
where it joined the front. So you'll see here, so this originally had a two plus one, so two, uh, Two, two seats here and a single here, seat here. So what we've done is we've added these blanker plates that we sell on the website and that's just to fill the original holes from where the two plus one is. Albeit it's not particularly clean here, would have probably been better to clean this up first, but this is the OEM style vinyl floor in and that's tying in with the original one. If that was all cleaned up and shiny, it'd match really nicely. So just going around the back here. So this is the T6.1 style T6 barn door rear lights, which are available from both websites. Trying to make it look like, give it that T6.1 style, but with the full LED now on the sequential indicators. These have been really popular in Europe and in the UK. Just modernize the back of the van and just a really nice strong look and obviously brighter because they're LED. So in the cab here, another thing that Marco has added to his van previously before it came here is one of these rock wireless charges. Great bit of kit, pop your phone in there. So moving into the cab area here, the one thing that's obvious other than the steering wheel being on the wrong side is the Bonhoff controller here for the air suspension and the Scanstrut wireless phone charger. So these are a great bit of kit actually. So you just pop your phone in there uh, and there you'll see it starts to charge. So also around the back here, you'll see that uh, this van's got the matte black Volkswagen badge. Sits nicely right in the middle of the Q from the HQ logo there. And there's this strange stalk here. I had no idea what this meant, so I had to ask Marco. But there you go. These guys are based in The Hague in the Netherlands, and that's the, the symbol for The Hague. There you go. Learn something new every day. Branding down the side there. Like I said, that's all going to change, but this is obviously Camper Glass, Navis, Solo, Vagspeed, which is the tuning company they use over there. But all that's going to change when Marco gets his new branding done. But yeah, all in all, just a really nice van. Finished off really nicely. Sunstrip on the front there. Bit of HQ branding on the sunstrip. Like that, we should perhaps offer that as a sunstrip option. There you go, thought I'd just give you a bit of a walk around of the van just because we've been asked to a few times. There we go. So not the ideal day to be doing this, but this is going off. So Chris, my business partner, is driving this off to Holland tonight, go to the Netherlands. He's getting the overnight ferry to go and help those guys over there for a week. And he'll be bringing the flatbed back because the flatbed's off to Ultimate Dubs on the Alpine stand in a few weeks. And so a few other bits we need to do to it, fit some new wheels to it first. So yeah, just thought I'd give you a video walk around. I think we might do this more often than walk rounds of vans. We quite often get asked about the vans and the stuff that we feature. We never really go in depth and show you what each one has got. There you go, quick video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please do like the button, share it with anybody else that might be interested in anything transporter related. Please do subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.